Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, we're on the court here at Marin Tennis Club. I got Coach Jared here, and I got Coach Chris here. And I found some balls. Remember Andre? How old are these balls? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I just sprung upon them this can of balls and we're talking about how old they could be. Uh, I think the consensus is about 20 years ago as to when these balls were produced, manufactured, right? So this is a new can. I literally found this. It has not been opened. Okay, okay, like so. Okay, magic trick here. All right. I'm gonna bring you a little closer and see if it makes any noise. Oh, it makes noise. It actually does say Pan ATP balls on them. I will give you one. I will give you one and I will hold one. Wow. Talk about old balls. It's a little hard. It's a little hard. It's a little, a little <laughs> hard in the missing a little bit of that fuzziness to it yeah uh, i mean i think fresh. i mean i don't know if i can say this but i feel like if i walked into a doctor's office with these balls i'd be in big trouble you know what i mean so let's try them out and see if they're still good okay we'll, we'll go through a warm-up with them there you go let's go All right, guys, are you looking for a coach, a pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. And I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right, check out Player Court. They have professionals, they have hitting partners, they even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game, guys. All right, so we've uh, warmed up with the ATPs, and uh, I thought they'd be dead, but um, they're holding up pretty well for being 20-some-year-old balls. You, did you send? You say you like them? I like them. Uh... So, I mean, yeah, like Harry said, he told me these were 20-year-old balls. I thought when we'd crack them open and, and uh, pop them out on the court, I thought these things would have no air in them. Surprisingly, they held up super well. So, my dad was just telling me that back in the 70s or 80s, there used to be a manual pump to, I guess, keep your balls pressurized. So, I guess uh, the way that they're doing it today, they're keeping their balls in, in good shape. Um, but, yeah, compared to the pens at, like, Costco, I would highly prefer <laughs> these. Like, I can actually keep the ball in the court for multiple shots. And we've talked about it before in a previous video. I'm like, I can't keep the ball in with those pen ones from Costco. So these ones, I like them. I mean, if you can bring them back, I, I would, again, be, be the first guy to probably go out and purchase some because I traditionally don't like pen balls, but these ones were just uh, were playable. So. It says Victor Scope Digital Test Data 2 of 01 on here. Wow. 
huh? So oh one. Twenty two years two ago. Two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. And you said you liked them too. I mean, I've always loved these balls. These balls have always been great to me. Uh, totally the ball that they would play with it, like the Masters 1000s and stuff like that back in the day, early 2000s. I mean, it just goes to show you that old balls really can do the trick. So, <laughs> All right, so let's ball of today. 22 years later. Is there a year on this one? There is a... Let's see if there's a difference. Bring it in. Let's hear if there's more air. More air, for oh, sure. Yeah. Here, you take one. Take one. Let's squeeze these balls. Okay. Softer. I think softer. Yeah, softer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's softer, right. more felt. More felt on it, for sure. Yeah, more felt it's a slower it ball, sure. comparatively. Yeah. Well, let's hit. Yep. Okay. How did the uh, pen tour feel? Modern day. Yeah, so I think traditionally I don't like the pen tour balls, but they did feel different this time around. So I think these ones compared to the 20 year old pen ATP balls are different in the sense that this has a lot more fuzz on it and it's a lot softer. Um, so I think traditionally these probably actually play a lot slower than the pen ATPs, which is kind of weird because usually when I do use these on a normal basis, I feel like these play super fast. Um, so again, it could just be because I used the pen ATPs before this, but I will say these are definitely softer, have more felt, um, but I think I'd still prefer the pen ATPs over this one. So that, those are probably my winners for you. So you'd rather have a 22 year old ball? Yeah. Okay. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, these balls, definitely, you take them out of the can, they had more felt. Squeeze them, they were softer, so they're less inflated. Um, you hit with them, they're more of a dead ball. They go through the court slower. Even hearing them bounce on the court, it was a softer thud than pen yep. ATP balls. Um, it's very interesting. They've definitely slowed these balls down uh, just so they can have, I would think, more rallies, longer rallies, better points. Okay, so that's not what I was expecting from this test. I was expecting to play with old flat balls from 22 years ago and saying, oh yeah, you shouldn't be playing with balls for that long or holding them for that long. They only have a six month to one year shelf life is what I tell people. Maybe they made balls better back in the day. I mean, cause I think all three of us like the old balls. Uh, yeah, these guys, when, when we were first hitting with these, I was like, I hear something different. I don't know if you can hear it in your, on your end but the sound sounded different. Um, it sounded like a pachonk, pachonk, pachonk. And on these, it felt more like what, when you guys hit in a rally, got pop, 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 pop. So I'm not sure if it's the makeup of the rubber or, or whatnot, but um, these were definitely softer. It felt like these were 22 years old and these were newer <laughs> to, to us. So, if you guys have balls lying around that's 22 years old, break them out. They might be better than the balls you got now. <laughs> so consensus is we like the 22-year-old ATPs. Shockingly, shockingly. Coach Jared Ma, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Coach Chris, where are we at? You can find me here at Marin Tennis Club and YouTube Marin Tennis Club. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.